Today I'm sharing my February book haul. Welcome to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl. I did not think I would be making a haul video for February. I wasn't planning on buying any new books in February. The first book that I bought in February was The Mona Lisa Vanishes by Nicholas Day. And I bought this when they announced that it was going to be the group read for Middle Grade March. And I decided I did want to read that. But at that point, I thought this was going to be the only book that I bought in February. But then I went to a couple of stores. First, I didn't bring them all in here because my daughter has half of them but my oldest daughter read the first Nancy Drew book. And once she read the first book, she wanted to read more Nancy Drew. And I told her it didn't really matter if she read them in order. She did tell me after reading some later books that one of them referenced back to something that happened in an earlier book. So I guess that does happen. I just had never, I guess, noticed or didn't care when I'd had it happen, but she wants to read them in order. And I have a very, weird collection of Nancy Drew. I've just been collecting them. Whenever I find them in a used bookstore, then I get it. Or if there's a particular one that I hear about that I want to read, I've bought it. And so I've had, I had a few in the one to 10 range, and I think I have book 21 and then a bunch in the forties. And so I bought the few books that we didn't have between one and 10 so that she could read those. And then I did find the box set for books 11 through 20 for a really good deal on Walmart. So I don't have those right in here with me, but I did buy 13 Nancy Drew books, I think. Uh, so that was something very unexpected, but it's been really helpful for her. She is just breezing through them and really enjoying them. Then my youngest daughter and I went out a couple of weeks ago. We were going to a craft store and next to the craft store was a store called, I think it's Second and Charles is what it was called. And I had no idea what that was. And, but then I saw that it said, we buy books. I suggested to her, we go in and check it out. And we walked in and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It was a huge store with lots of books. Some were new, some were used and had a lot of toys and other random things. But I did end up buying two Julie Klassen books there, The Lady of Milkweed Manor and The Secret of Pembroke Park. You know, I've talked about Julie Klassen before on here and really loving her and these are used, but they look absolutely brand new. So I wasn't expecting to buy any of her books last month, but I had to get the ones that they had that I didn't own yet. And then on the last Saturday of February, I went to a book signing event at a Christian research center. This is something that was opened very recently, just over the last few months. And right now they're doing this, this series of Saturday talks where they're having people come in every Saturday morning and give talks. And that last Saturday was Sandra Tanner, who I, I've talked about her before on here when I read a book called Lighthouse that was a biography of she and her husband. They were some early uh, people that looked into Mormon church things and published their findings that were true and things that used to be hidden. And I have been helped very much by a book that they wrote called Mormonism, Shadow and Reality. And so I wanted to go and meet her and have the biography of her signed by her and the man that wrote it. Her husband is passed away already. After the Q&A and the presentation and the signing, I wanted to browse the books in the bookstore section of this research museum. So I ended up getting three books while I was there. I bought The Mormon Murders by Stephen Nafa and Gregory White Smith. This is about Mark Hoffman, who was a forger and ended up killing a bunch of people when they found out that he was forging these documents that the LDS Church was buying from him. And then a book that has been recommended to me by many people is Introducing Christianity to Mormons by Eric Johnson. I've been told that this is not only a good book of just how to know how to talk to other people that are still Mormon, but also a big help to those of us that are leaving to help to, to really show the difference between different Mormon theology and Christian theology. So I decided to get this there as well. And that was a new book. And this one is as well. Expository Apologetics, Buddy Bacham Jr. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've watched him online and I've heard really good things about him. So I thought this sounded like an interesting book as well. So that is the unexpected February book haul.